I am Vignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud Anya Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. So in this video, we are going to see the other cloud platform which is very popular called Azure. It is from Microsoft. So we call it as Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform. So after AWS, like Azure came into the picture and it is also one of the leading and most used cloud platform across the globe. So in this video, we are going to see how to create uh, service called storage account in Azure cloud platform. So this Azure storage account which is relevant to cloud storage buckets in Google cloud platform. So we are going to see how to create storage accounts in Azure portal as well as using Azure CLI. So without any delay, we'll get started with the this video. So the first and foremost thing is you have to log into this Azure portal. So if you don't know, you can use this particular site azure for portal.azure.com and you will be able to log into this particular uh, portal and there are many services there are many services in azure as well here you can see there are different services for general for compute from networking for storage web mobile containers so we are going into the storage and we are going to see how to create storage account so for that just click on this storage account so there are already there are existing storage account so you can just click on this create and you can select the subscription so on the resource group is i'll be saying uh, using dbc resource group and my storage account name is storage account creation demo and the location it will be let it be in us east us performance like standard redundancy so where we wanted to keep like low uh, zone redundancy or geo uh, redundancy and local redundancy so here we are going to go with geo redundant storage so it means intermediate op option with failover capabilities in a secondary region so we are going with the regions like uh, you can assume it as a regional bucket so the next thing is uh, click on this advanced make sure you go with all the relevant options the same thing everything goes here also for data protection for encryption so here you can if you want you can have uh, tags as well key value pass and finally preview so here it will run for validation once after this validation is successful you can click on this create so it will take some time to create the resource uh, basically like you can see here like sub submitting deployment it will take some time to uh, create the resource meanwhile uh, so deployment is in progress so here you can see all the details what is the subscription what is the resource group all those things we have seen here so i'll be making contents on what is subscription and what is the resource group as well so now the next thing is we will be seeing how to create video how to create a, a cloud storage account using azure cli so the same way in g in google cloud platform we add g cloud right? the same way in azure we call it as az az so easy like storage and what is the what we wanted to do it so same if you wanted to deal with uh, az uh, containers virtual machine instance we have to you go with az so the same goes with aws it is aws for gcp it is google g cloud and for azure it is az so here we can see az storage account create what is the resource group we will give that resource group basically it is dbc resource and what is the location it is west us and sku that is standard we are you are going with standard here like even uh, in um, a portal also we gone with standard and the name name of the storage like this is our storage name you can just copy this command basically i'll give all those things in the um and the description of this particular video here the resource is ready before that you can just click open this in a new tab i'll close this this is where our deployment is complete our resource is ready so here we can go into this and you can click, click on this cloud shell so this is very similar to g cloud shell as well here you can get um, powershell as well as bash so you will get the option so now i am into this powershell so here it is you can just click ALS and just paste it AZ account, account create what is the resource group what is the location what is the standard and what is the name of that resource so AZ demo storage ACC so 
we have executed it and we will see storage account already taken the storage account name is, is already taken so it is already taken it seems so we will give in place a quick one and just hit enter So here, this is the account storage account which we created. So here you can see if you wanted to upload file, you can upload it. So it is the UA is pretty interesting and you can find more options also. Like open in explorer, like if you wanted to explore, you can open it. Like if you wanted to delete, you can delete it. And even if you wanted in open in mobile also, all the, all the options are there. Resource group, location, all those things are here. And um, performance is a standard and replication it is read access geo reader and storage like you are going with region resources and this is the properties like what is the uh, like hierarchical namespace like it is disabled if it is enabled we will name it as azure data lake generation 2 so we will see what is that in upcoming videos so here you can see all the details a security networking file service queue all those things and if you wanted this is the container so inside the storage account if you wanted to create container you can create it or if you wanted to create file shares queues tables all those things you can do it and security press networking and the data management so all those things and configurations and if you wanted to update to gen 2 also you can do it monitoring you can get all the details here and monitoring classic automation support plus troubleshooting you can find lot of details on Azure Cloud Platform. Uh, you can find lot of services, lot of configurations, lot of configurables, all those things in Cloud Platform. If you want, you can just click on this and you can create a container. So this is demo container and public accesses like private, no anonymous access, blob, anonymous read access or blobs only container. So we will go with private, no anonymous access and then we will just create it. So we are creating the storage backend and if you just refresh it, you will get all those details here. So it is a demo container, the public access level, it is private and least it, it is available. You can just click on this and you can find all those details here. And meanwhile, uh, we'll go to this storage account. We'll go to this and we will see. So here you can see this is the storage account which we created using Azure CLA command. So using this. Here you can see you now it has been created all the details you can get it from here basically everything will be in the json structure only so access there it is hot so it means it is frequently accessed the data so public access all those details you can see whatever we saw it and uh, we saw here like everything you will be able to see it from here as well like upload open explorer delete all those things you can do it from here and provisioning state it is like here you can see by default it is taking locally rather than storage so it's zonal like not even zonal level locally and storage provisioning state all those things you will be able to see it here activity log everything and if you wanted to create container also you will be able to create container also so that's it for this video i hope you learned how to create storage account from uh, console as well as cli in next video, I will see with more interesting content from G Cloud as well as Azure. If you have any questions or any comments, please post in the comment section. I will take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics. I will meet you in the next video uh, with more interesting content from Azure or from GCP. Until then, it's bye from Viknesh. Happy learning.